I swear, you can't take black people nowhere. Auntie Mo here, and I am back for another episode review of what is this, y'all? Loving Hip Hop Miami. This is season three, episode 12, Full Circle. This is the season finale, y'all. Before we get into it, as always, church announcements. If you have not done so just yet, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'm here to entertain you. We sip on a little bit of wine. We ain't about no drama, nothing around here. We just be chilling, okay? Before you leave, let me know what you stopped by. Give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. And then make sure your notification bells is turned on. YouTube been tripping lately. This goddamn Rona got niggas staying at the house. So YouTube ain't got nobody over there at the office turning on damn notifications. So niggas, is at, they ain't even knowing what the hell is going on. Because that nigga's at home quarantine. Whoever the notification dude is. So uh, make sure your notification bells is turned on. You know what I'm saying? Just come back and holler at me. Um... Y'all look here before I get into that. Y'all like my shirt. Look here. What this say? Good friends wine together. Y'all, my boo Tracy made me this shirt. Thank you, Tracy. I was going to wear this on Friday for Sip and Chill. I'm probably going to wear this shirt again on Friday for Sip and Chill. But then Friday, I like to be comfortable in my big old New York Giants t-shirt just chilling. You know what I'm saying? But um, look here. Thank you to everybody that's sending me emails inboxing me on instagram and all of that dropping me messages down in videos for checking in with me i appreciate y'all um i'm still doing the drive through testing at my job um i have been i'm tired y'all wearing ppe all doggone day you know we try to clown have a good time you know in between cars or whatever if y'all follow me on instagram go on here because i be trying to post pictures and stuff like that but it's hot it's hot as hell in that PPE. Some of you niggas don't listen. When they say keep your ass in the house or don't come out if you were feeling a certain type of way, y'all just come out and goddamn monkey out breaking every damn thing. But look here. I can't say this enough. Y'all wash your hands and make sure you drink some water. I still say that now. Make sure you wash your damn hands now. And CDC elbow bump. Don't shake nobody's hand. Don't hug nobody. I don't give a damn how much you love them. Unless you're willing to stay quarantined with they goddamn ass, I'm gonna need you to elbow bump these niggas nowadays. But look here, y'all. Um, I'm yakety yakin'. I just wanted to say thank y'all so much for reaching out to me. Yes, we are still doing a drive-through test, and we're gonna be doing it all the rest of this week, next week, probably <laughs> until the wheels fall off. Ain't no telling. But sooner or later, we gotta get back to our community, our homeless community, and seeing our patients again. But thank you to everybody that's been reaching out to me. Seeing how I'm doing. I pre yeah. Y'all really do rocks with your auntie. I appreciate you. I appreciate you more than you know. Every auntie, I'm praying for you. I'm thinking about you. Oh, you look cute in your little PPE. Thank y'all. Y'all just don't know how much that means to me. I appreciate you. But look at y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and get into this review. I hope y'all are ready for it because I'm ready to give it to you. So let's get right on up into it. All right, y'all. So Trick and Trina got this new morning show um, with DJ Nasty. And they flow real good together. I would love if I could get that radio station. How can I get that? Is it on, um, what is that, Siri XM or something like that? I need the Trick and Trina morning show on my way to goddamn work. Because that seemed like it's a lot of fun. They seem like they flow off of one another. It seemed really cute, really fun. If y'all ain't following them on Instagram, follow them as well because they post clips and videos and all that. They seem like they're a real good time. Um, Anyways, Trick says that he wants to have a launch party. He wants to invite everybody out. If y'all hear a humming sound, that's my fan right here. <laughs> y'all already know, but Scott will get your auntie hot out. <laughs> um, he wants to have a launch party. He wants to invite everybody out because he wants to celebrate that, you know, he he's he's him and Trina got this new morning show. They want to promote and do all of that stuff, right? And so Trina's like down with it. So they get to talking about the whole Bahamas trip. And Trina asked what happened between him and Joy. Because Trina was like, you know, one minute, um, 
We was all chopped it up. Y'all was cool. You know, kiki ka ka. Next thing you know, Joy over here crying. We like, what this nigga do that he bust in her eye? Do I gotta go kick his ass? Like, what the hell is going on? He says that he apologized for everything that he has ever done to her and that he wanted her to know that, you know, he sincerely apologizes from the bottom of his heart. Now, Trina was excited. You know, she is all joy and trick all damn day because you know joy is a cousin trick is like a big brother so she's rooting for them all damn day so she says that maybe they should sit down and they should talk about their relationships and maybe see if they can work things out you know because we all know goddamn trick love him some goddamn joy he was just fucking around with this goddamn nikki natural he didn't want them serious with that damn girl he was just playing around with her his heart is really with joy so trina's like look here you and joy need to sit down y'all need to chop it up because you never know what could happen so later on um joy goes to trick's house right now she tells him now first off y'all joy tries to bring trick some healthy foods to eat. It was like some frozen vegetables, some frozen fruits and all this. Y'all know Trick goddamn country ass. He's like, what is it? Oh yeah, this shit. Oh, this shit is. Y'all know this is a, a country Bama ass nigga. He don't know nothing about no goddamn kale and, and cantaloupe I and mean, just mix goddamn. He don't know nothing about that goddamn healthy shit. All he know is lard, um, gluten, trans fat, saturated fat. That's all that nigga know. So she tells, y'all, I'm sorry. This Moscato is so good. Strawberry mango. God, I'm out watering, okay? She tells him that she got a friend coming over, right? She's like, what do you mean you got a goddamn friend over? You ain't tell me you got a friend over. She's like, well, nigga, I ain't got to tell you that. My name is still on the damn deed. It don't even matter. Like, he said, well, but you don't live here. I don't care, though. The police can't put me out if you call them, though. My name is still on the deed. Look here, I can watch a Trick and Joy show. I can watch one, should I do an hour? I can do about 30 minutes a week of a Trick and Joy show. Because them going back and forth, they funny to me. They remind me of an old-ass married couple. They both goddamn love each other. I don't know what they sit up here playing these goddamn games for. So, y'all, AJ Johnson is the friend that ends up coming over. Y'all know Jody Mama, that badass friend from um, House Party. She's like this fitness freakish guru now. Like, she's freakishly healthy. The bitch is beautiful. She like in her late 40s, early 50s. And she looks, she still look like she in her goddamn 20s. Spend a goddamn go to kid and play house right now to be in a goddamn dance battle with Tisha on the goddamn floor. Like, the bitch is beautiful. She's an old-time friend of theirs, and she knows about their relationship. She's been their friend since they were married right now. She's coming over to give some healthy eating habits and some advice. That's what her purpose of coming there was supposed to be. Child, she didn't know she was walking into a whole counseling uh, session with Joy and goddamn Trick Daddy. Soon as she walk in there, he, she's like, you know, so Trick, how you doing? How you feeling? He's like, I'm doing fine. I'm, I'm doing wonderful. I'm having a wonderful time. Why do old school men say that? You ask them how I'm doing. I'm having a wonderful time. You having a wonderful time doing what, granddaddy? You just sitting there, granddaddy. What you having a wonderful time doing? But, hey, you having a wonderful time. You like it, I love it. As long as you don't have no goddamn heart attack. They go in the goddamn refrigerator. This country-ass nigga got pickled pig feet, pickled egg. Devil dead. He got all kind of goddamn bullshit. When he put that out, I said, that's a country-ass, Bama-ass, trick-ass nigga right there. Only a country-ass, Bama-ass, trick-ass nigga got pickled pig feet and pickled eggs, boiled eggs, and it's fidgeted right now. That's a Bama-ass nigga. As they going through his goddamn refrigerator, like, pulling out all of this shit, like, trick, look at all this unhealthy shit you got. This nigga setting up there eating a honey bun. Look here, though. That nigga had that honey bun looking good than a motherfucker. I was like, shit. I ain't even know I wanted a honey bun until I got through watching his goddamn ass. <laughs> Bitch, I want a honey bun so damn bad. A honey bun with a big red? Shit. Yeah, I'm a country bitch too. I wanted that. So, y'all, they both trying to get through the trick. He ain't trying to hear none that they goddamn say. He says that the only problem that he has, aside from his lupus, which he says he can't do nothing about, he can't, he don't want to take no medicines or nothing like that. The only other problem that he has, he said a week ago he went to his doctor. Now he has severe sleep apnea. Nigga, that's when you don't breathe when you sleeping. That's a real ass goddamn problem. That's a real ass goddamn problem. Then him... 
and Joy kind of start going like back and forth. AJ is getting irritated with both of them because everything you say to him, she's trying to preach to him and tell him he got an answer for it. He got a rebuttal for it. So it's like you just going back and forth with this nigga. Then Joy going to say he getting mad at me because I'm telling him that he needs to eat right. He needs to do this right. He like, nah, because you steady hounding me. You steady coming at me. She like, okay, now he mad at me because he looked pregnant. Trick is like, oh, she likes to humiliate me. It's like, they love each other, but they both like some fucking kids. They just can't be grown adults and say how they really feel. Like, Joy, I mean, not Joy, uh, AJ was trying to break Joy down to where she was saying, like, you know, why do you care? Because he has kids and we have God kids. Okay, well, why do you care about it? Because he needs to be here. Okay, but why do you care about that? Because people love him. Like, she would not outright come out and say, I love him. I care for him. I want him to do better for himself. I want him to be better so he can be here for me and all of these kids. She didn't want to say that. Child, finally, AJ had to break both of them down. And finally, when they were able to kind of like broke, both get broken down because Trick said something like, she don't appreciate me. And that's what broke Joy ass down. She started crying after that. That lets you know right there, you care about this goddamn California razor looking ass nigga. You love his goddamn gold mouthed ass. So finally, they agreed to communicate better. He agreed to take baby steps towards eating better and trying to get his health back on track. Child, that's a big ass step. Baby steps is some big ass goddamn steps for Trick Daddy. We gonna hope this nigga get this goddamn lupus shit under control and stop doing la cocaina to goddamn fuel your, your, your lupus. Nigga, that ain't right. Y'all, this next scene was cute. It was Sukiyana and her little girl, Destiny. And is her little girl named after her? Because I think Suki's name is Destiny. And her little boy, Marmar, and her grandma, they all went out to eat. I will say, though, time out. It's the time to dress like a, a, a city girl, hot girl. And it's the time to kind of dress like a mama. When you around your babies, and especially your grandmama, um... Mama had them tick old bitties and all of that ass she bought out, baby. I was like, okay, bitch, you do your boo-boo. You making that money. You can do your boo-boo. You know what I'm saying? But I was like, you going up in the in a family eatery like this? With that COVID shit going around, you gonna catch goddamn Rona in your in your tutu, girl. But I'm just saying, it was cute to see her with her kids. Little Mama Destiny, her little girl was like, I'm cute. And she was just as chocolate and goddamn beautiful as she want to be. Baby, when I tell you Mama just got her goddamn hair done, she knew she was cute. That's why she told you, bitch, I'm cute. I'm Destiny. Yes. She didn't say it like that. But I read all up in between them lines. Mama was goddamn cute. And she said she want to move to Miami. She going to be a hot girl, just like a goddamn mama. <laughs> But it was cute though, child. She um she was saying like you know it was just a real cute bonding moment. She was saying how y'all know I gotta sacrifice and be away from y'all, but y'all know I love y'all. I'm gonna do everything that I can for y'all. Child, she bought him this big ass goddamn ice cream sundae. That little boy, Marmar, face lit. Uh, he is her goddamn twin. His face lit up like a Christmas tree when he seen that goddamn sundae. It was so cute. It was cute. Y'all already know. Goddamn Suki the Samurai. That's my bitch. I don't care what nobody say. I know she a little bit more hood booger for some people. That's my girl, though. I love me some damn sucking. And I wanted that goddamn ice cream. My fat ass. I always talking about some damn food. We got this little scene where Kenny goes to visit Brad at um her job at the bar. He basically, he talks his way back into her heart. Or he tries to talk his way back into her heart. Says that he ain't gonna never do it again. He apologizes. He didn't feel like saying he was married was a big deal. Y'all out, girl. He gonna end up um, getting back in there, child. She gonna end up forgiving his ass. We gonna move on. Almost left this part out. So we got Prima Donna and Miami Tip. They chopping it up. They talking about the whole shit that happened at Sukiyana's event between Prima Donna and Amada La Negra, right? Now, Miami Tip brought up a good ass goddamn point. She was like, look here. You didn't think that you was breaking like G code and nothing like that by bringing MJ's ex to come and talk to Amada and not holler at Amada and let her know? Like, how would you feel if she did that to you? Child, this bitch prima donna gonna say she didn't break no gold because that ain't her sis and that she should be thanking her because she helped her do what she wanted to do any goddamn way and that she gonna holler at MJ the next time she see MJ. Prima donna. 
Sit your goddamn big ass in a small ass waist trainer ass down somewhere. I don't like prima donna. She one of these bitches that like to try to start shit, but then when you front her about the shit she starts, she want to try to back it up and flip it on you like she did something for you or like you did something wrong. Bitch, what? I don't like hoes like that. Mm -mm. So it's the night of Trick and Trina party, right? Now, everybody is there. Um, Trina announces that her album is coming back out. If y'all know if her album is back out, drop it down below and let me know. I'm so wrong. I ain't even look it up and see before I record. I'm sorry. My bad. If it's out, y'all let me know. Drop it down there. Bucky ends up pulling Pre to the side, right? Now, she says that she wants to talk to her because she wants to know why does she feel like it was all right for her to bring up Annie, which was 10 years ago from AJ's past, to come and try to talk to Ahmad about something something and whatever situation that's going on between them now. Now, Prima Donna's like, you know, she needs to be thanking me. I helped her. That's what she wanted to do any goddamn way. Like, she needs to be thanking me for the shit. I help this bitch out. Now, Bucky does say, like, that's their business. Regardless of what Amada felt like, you know, she was going to do this, that, and the other. That wasn't your business. That was their business. Now, Bucky starts to walk off. I don't know if Bucky is walking off because she getting irritated or what. But you can see Bucky starts to walk off and, like, she's going off her own a little separate way. Now, Bucky goes to holler at Amada. Bucky says that she does not feel like Prima Donna, Prima Donna was wrong in what she said because she felt like maybe Amada Amada was looking for a way out as well, but she still wants to go holler at Amada because she wants to be there for her brother. Regardless, that's her brother, blah, 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 blah. Now, this is my thing, Bucky. Why can't you mind your damn business as well? Regardless, if your brother came to you talking to you, he need to be mad enough to handle his own goddamn relationship and be able to work out his own goddamn relationship. That's just me. That's how I think. I feel like people need to stay out of other people's relationship. Regardless of what you feel, what you used to be in, that don't damn matter. That don't have nothing to do with what's going on with them. Let them people handle their goddamn shit the way they want to goddamn handle it. Bucky, you damn too. I'm sorry. Bucky be doing the most. This whole time, Bucky is over here talking to Amada. Goddamn MJ over here trying to act like he ain't listening. Like he don't see every damn thing that's goddamn going on sitting over here smoking a hookah. I'm like, nigga, would you please? Would you goddamn please? Just goddamn stop it. Y'all, we got Joy and Trick. They over there talking. Long story short between them, Joy tells Trick, if you stay on this right road, you keep on taking care of yourself. You get rid of this, rid of this little nine-month-old pregnant belly you got. You may be able to get some little cutty or whatever. You know what I'm saying? We gonna work on it. I might give you some cutty, but I'm gonna need you to get your lupus in check, get your belly in check, get your cholesterol in check, and maybe we can goddamn work it out. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, Trick was happy. You can see his goddamn face. Try his face lit up like a goddamn fat kid when you give his ass a big ass plate of goddamn brownies. He was happy as hell, and I was happy for him. I would like to see Joy and Trick together. Like I said, give me 30 minutes a week. I'm gonna watch that shit. Now, look here. MJ is over there, like I said, trying to pretend like he ain't paying attention to nothing that's going on. Amada goes up to him like, hey, look here, can we talk? Just then, Prima Donna comes and pulls her ass up. Uh, look here, uh, hey, I don't fucking like this damn Prima Donna. Child, they end up going back and forth at it. Prima Donna starts yelling now. I don't even know why you with her. This lady don't want you any damn way. This lady don't want you. Amada trying to keep it classy. Shay trying to come in the middle and break it up. Next thing you know, this silly ass bitch Prima Donna throws a drink at Amada. Amada tries to go leap over and jump jack at her ass. Goddamn it, shit goes goddamn left. They yelling, they cursing at every goddamn body. Amada went hood. It's hell. I could under I could understand her ass very clear after that. She was speaking clear English when she got mad as hell. Child, this bitch Prima Donna gonna then say she gonna tell you that Julian tried to talk to her, but she didn't tell you that she been fucking Julian the whole time. Everybody looking like what, bitch? What is this tea she spilling? I don't know if she's saying it's because she being messy, petty, or what. She claims she got receipts. Y'all, the episode ends with security walking Amada out and goddamn MJ right there behind her like a little puppy dog. 
right there behind his girl. I will give it to Shay though. While all of this shit is going on, MJ was trying to get in the middle of it. And Shay was like, look here, this some bitch shit going on. You gonna stay your ass over there. You ain't got nothing to do with this. I'm going to need you to stay the hell on up over there. That's the best thing that that bitch did for her goddamn brother was keep his ass out of that bitch shit that was going on so there. So, in the end, everybody's doing a little reflecting over the time that they've had on here. Amani says that she is going to listen to her own voice. And I'm going to be the person that I know that I can be. And I'm going to do what I have to do for my career without Julian or with the nobody. I'm going to do it. I'm like, bitch, where you go, girl? Um... Hood Brat goes to visit her sister's grave for the first time. She said she passed away in 2017. This is her first time going there. She actually didn't want to go until she felt like she was at a stable place to where she had made it. And bitch, you made it. You're still here. God damn it. Three years later, you goddamn made it. She goes to visit her sister. Briscoe is out with his family. He says that he wants to re rebuild and um do things right now that he's got a second chance. Really, nigga, you got like a 10, 11 goddamn chances. Many times you done goddamn cheated on that girl. Trina says her album is back up. Again, if y'all know if the album is up, if it's good, drop it down and let me know. Joy goes to have a little romantical dinner with Trick Daddy. I thought that was super cute. Hopefully, they can work on their relationship. Prayers going out to him on his goddamn Lucas scale. And um, Trick says that he wants to do better and he wants to have a happy life with Joy. Y'all, that was Love and Hip Hop Miami. If it was anything that I missed, y'all already know, drop it down below and let me know. Thank y'all for riding, at, uh, riding it out with me for this season. And um, y'all already know, if it was anything that I missed, drop it down below. I just said that. <laughs> Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And your Auntie Mo, we'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out. I ain't gonna kiss y'all my elbow bump. Holla at ya.